taken down to Egypt by the Ishmaelites. They sold him to Potiphar, the Pharaoh's number one guy. God made it so that Joseph succeeded with everything that he tried, and naturally, Potiphar really liked him for this, so he put him in charge of everything that he owned. God blessed everything of Potiphar's because of Joseph. All Potiphar worried about was what he ate for the day. Now, Joseph wasn't too hard on the eyes, if you know what I mean, ladies. <laughs> and after a while, Potiphar's wife wanted him bad. But he refused. Hey look, Potiphar gave me access to anything I want, just not you. Because you're his wife. How could I do such a terrible thing like that? She tried and tried, but he kept saying no. One day, Joseph went into the house to do his daily routine, and no one was there. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Potiphar's wife came out of nowhere and tried to jump Joseph's bones. Who? Whoa, uh, Mrs. Potiphar's wife. Come to bed with me. Um, nope. <laughs> Probably mostly embarrassed, the wife called her servants and told them that Joseph had tried to force himself upon her. She screamed and he ran off, leaving his cloak. When her husband got home, she told him the same story. The very angry Potiphar threw Joseph into prison. But God made the warden like Joseph, and the warden put Joseph in charge of everyone and everything at the prison. He didn't even pay attention to anything that Joseph was in charge of because God was with him. Later on, the pharaoh's cupbearer and baker offended him. The pharaoh threw them both in prison, the same one Joseph was in. Joseph was put in charge of them. One night, both men had a dream. When Joseph came to them the next morning, he noticed they looked depressed and asked why they looked that way. They told him that they both had dreams but didn't know what each of them meant. Joseph told them to tell him their dreams and God would give him the meanings. The cupbearer started. He said, in my dream, I saw a vine in front of me with three branches. It budded, blossomed, and the clusters ripened into grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes, squeezed them into it, and put the cup in his hand. Joseph told him that the three branches stood for the three days left that he would be spending in jail. He would be the Pharaoh's cupbearer again. He told him to remember this when everything was better and mention him to the Pharaoh and get him out of prison. The baker heard the cupbearer's good news and told Joseph his dream too. He said, in my dream, I had three baskets of bread on my head. The top basket was full of good stuff for the pharaoh, but the stupid birds kept eating it. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> You've got three days left here too, but you're getting out to die. Three days later, it was the pharaoh's birthday, and he gave a feast for all of his officials. He pulled both men out of prison, and both of Joseph's interpretations came true. No, no! But the cupbearer didn't remember to tell Pharaoh about Joseph.